I get to have fun now. I said I wasn't going to draft white unless it, I open up Skira Ascendancy. And we're, now we're there. Now we get to have fun. If I'm not, I don't even think this is right. I think Fairy Vandal is actually better than this. Does Blitz work with Obscure Ascendancy? It does, right? It says cast. I think I think it does work with because it works with the ascendancy. I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna take a little chat so we can draw obscure ascendancy more. This, remember, this is an obscure ascendancy theme draft. So don't try this at home. Pick orders don't matter. Pick orders don't matter because I'm only drafting for Obscure Ascendancy. So do not try this at home, unless you want to be greatly disappointed. I need one drops for obscure ascendancy, so. Do I want goons as a five? No, ham sandwiches are. We generally the game is over before we get to fives. Our opponent concedes. I mean, five drops are a dime a dozen. You don't really need to try to get them. Scries who? Looking for obscure ascendancy or things we need to get for it? Again, this is... Pick orders are not realistic. We are only drafting to maximize obscure ascendancy. Either drawing it or being able to utilize it. Yeah, the, the actual problem with Obscure Ascendancy, the, the problem number is actually four, not five. Uh, I do like Widespread Thieving. It's five cards deep looking for Obscure Ascendancy. I almost want to take Chrome Cat, but all right, we got our Chrome Cat. Oh, there's Grizzly Sigil and Depopulate. That's a tough one. We like the the generally the problem with Obscure Ascendancy is the one drop slot, which is you need either Rafine, Rafine's Guidance, Grizzly Sigil, or um obs the big one is the Suspicious Parcel is the best one drop.
Yeah, it is double white. We'll take the one drop. We do need a one drop for the Ascendancy, so... We can get involuntary thing for the Grizzly Sigil or in the little chat. So now we have Girder Goons or another employment. So Fatal Grudge makes us want to play the Widespread Thieving. No, I grudge actually tables most of the time. Ooh, Rose Gallery makes it pretty easy. So what does this do? It is a four drop. I guess I can copy Corrupt Court Official. I don't know what it does. But I could try it. There is nothing in this pack. Maybe this. We haven't seen any white cards. This is so unlucky. This is so incredibly unlucky. Another one? I tried so hard to draft a theme deck and this is what I get. I get a broken heart. That's all I received. I tried so hard to draft an obscure Ascendancy theme deck. Oh, hey, a one drop. Another one drop. All right. Gosh, gosh darn it. All right, this will be our only six. We need more gold cards. For our for our widespread thieving. This looks like a gold card. I feel like it should have been. This is really unfortunate. All right, I can dig this. This is really good with the, it's really good with everything there so far. Need uh, need some, need some more gold cards. Okay, we found some gold cards. This is a tough one. I think this one's better. It's not by much though. Need some duels. I'm 
No! I needed a, another thingy. We have ja we have Joxus, the troublemaker, along with Dust Mangler. You're right, it is the only six in my deck. I didn't say anything about a seven, you're right. We might need Crumb Catch just for as the glue to keep everything together. To keep us grounded in reality. <laughs> Lagrella is another gold card. We do kind of want to dig up. We need a dig up type effect. But we also need the initiate. I'll take the initiate. <laughs> am I really passing a five minute ten in? I guess I am. Oh, hey. Hey, buddy. The Rockish Revelers are here. All right. It's here, the Paragon of Mediocrity. We did, we got no copies of the one mana artifact, Suspicious Parcel. Can you believe that? We can't thieve, we didn't get any, we didn't get any of the, the gold two drops. What a disaster. I can't believe we didn't get any suspicious parcels. I feel like that's such a scam. All right, I'm liking what I see. <sighs> Can you believe I'm saying that? I like what I see. I like what I see. You don't like what you don't like what I see. I like what I see. I'm seeing. I'm liking. I'm digging. We really needed a. a we should have taken that reanimate spell maybe. It's gonna be a lot tougher to win without the uh, reanimate spell. But we'll find a way, we'll find a way. What's the worst card in our deck? Probably light him up. It's a two drop, but Tenacious Underdog is a two drop, so it's fine. Worst part card is planes. We probably don't need a forest in our deck. We got double ascendancy. You see one the white blue black ascendancy gives us gives us two two spirits that we can sacrifice to the blue black red one to cast to cast more spells, you see? Do you, do you not you understand what's going on? Is it too much? Is it is it a little bit too far? Maybe I'm going a little bit too fast for you. If I'm going too fast for you, let me know. <laughs> it's called synergy. Yeah. I mean, I guess we can just 
fastest turn three doesn't actually get worse, right? We need red mana though. Our island wants to be a utopia. Oh no. I guess it's a good sign that they... I'm glad they didn't wait to cast the Sheeming Fence until... Because if it hit our Jaxus, we'd have been pretty sad. Yeah, it's fantastic deck building, yeah. Look at this. I have a I have a two three. They have a two three. I can block. See how easy this is. I can I can play Crypt Core Official. Make a copy. Sack the copy. Does it get better than that? They discarded a Quasar? God, that guy's so good. What? Did they just get me? Sure, I'll, I guess I'll take action. I'll just make this play next turn then. Ah! Oh, they just got a kill shot. How foolish of me. We like second pick that scrub court official, didn't we? Look at our mans. We have white. We have white, green, red, blue, black. Just just like Richard Garfield intended. They didn't even attack first. They were just like, nope. No attacking, not allowed. Oh, look at this. We can discard this and then reanimate it. Holy moly. It's a lot of inspired overseers.
We could unemployment. I think we want to unemployment this overseer and then copy it, right? So that gives us a treasure to cast this next turn. I mean, this gives us a treasure, but you're right. Yeah, let's just do our original line, I guess. There was some value there, for sure. We do have another Grizzly Sigil in our deck, and we have a Maestro's Ascendancy to rebuy our Sigil. Wait, they drew all their Gathering Throngs? So their last card is Gathering Throng? Oh, I don't have any green mana. Oh, that's no good. I foolishly threw away my green mana. It is green. I mean, it is technically green mana. Yeah, we can't cast it this turn. But I go, I go to one, though, and the dragon won't save me. Because I get the treasures end of turn, not immediately. How do we get out of this? They could demons do looking for a grizzly sigil. Or a strangle. Hmm. Damn it. <laughs> Damn it! I feel like that was a winnable game. We should have won that game. We would have won if we'd not brought back the Tenacious Underdog that one turn. We would have won if we had done that. No, 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 we punted that game. That's not what, that wasn't its fault. That was my first time seeing Jaxus. I was just like messing around, wasn't quite sure what was going on. I thought we had, I forgot that we played the 5-3, that we lose our green mana. We could have played it. We could have played better. Yeah, if we were at three life when we played the dragon, we can sack a creature to kill the one of the things. They have a two, one, and two, three flyer. They have one draw. Yeah. I messed up that game for sure. It's the first time I played with the Jaxus and I got a little, I flew a little bit too close to the sun. It happens.
I should have kept my green card. I should have kept my green mana and just like made it like Crouch Court Official or something. Made a 3 2. I didn't. I think I punted it a little bit too hard there. I've never seen her play this card before. And so I flew a little bit too close to the sun. I kind of just want to blitz this. I think it was probably right to blitz it. Oh no, enemy just just all white decks. I hate it. Two minute two 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 three minute two one flyer. Or three minute two three flyer. Herp to derp. Nobody who does this doesn't mean it. Got the Rockish Revelers, Maestro's Ascendancy, Wombo Combo. You think you have a kill shot? Maybe. I mean, the two damage isn't worth it, that's for sure. Do you think they're going to be prepared for the Rockish Revelers? I don't think they are. They can't handle it. This is sorcery speed only, right? Yeah, activate only is a sorcery. How could you? How could you do this to me? I was gonna say it's sabotaging me, but it's not, right? Red, green, white. No, it's not sabotaging me. I just don't have enough red. Only two red, not enough. Rockish Reveler is just so much better in Exile Zone. I need the mana fixing. <laughs> and a Virtuoso. Dude, nobody who plays Virtuoso doesn't mean it. I, mean, I guess I might as well attack. We have the Jock. We have the Jaxus Dusk Mangler combo. No, it's tapped. No. If I pay for life, I go to... I guess it doesn't matter. I'll just pay for life. I'm too proud. I refuse to I refuse to put my citizen into the into the graveyard. It's not worth it. <laughs> it's not my little guy my little guy is on strangle duty. <laughs> my citizen's got a hanker in for some strangling. Do you think enemy's gonna figure out that I can... Hey, look at this. 
Hooray! No, come back! No! I was gonna sack it to get five, to deal five damage and get a treasure. I was gonna sack my Bangler token. <laughs> All right, should we play the big score? Oh, we didn't even we didn't even get a big score. I was wondering why we didn't have big score in our deck because we just have these instead. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, we showed that Illuminator Virtuoso no fun deck. Our our jacks did not do a single thing the entire game. I said I should have blissed it on turn two. I played it on turn four. It didn't activate it on five. Didn't activate it on six. Didn't activate it on seven. Didn't activate it on eight. <laughs> it was just four minutes, two, three, no text. No attack, can't attack, can't block. <laughs> uh, this deck really needed the... Uh... We haven't even drawn Obscura Ascendancy yet. This is our first pick of the draft. No, the, I I wanted to play the obscure the um I wanted to play the the tra I actually drafted the widespread thieving with the intention to play it. I drafted it with the intention to play it. Uh, I just didn't get any gold cards. The mana is perfect. What, do you think I play lands to not draw them? I play 18. I I think you would draw lands more often. Oh no. Hmm. All right. Donatious Underdog, I have bad news for you, my friends. You and I are going to have a little chat. Let's come over here. Okay, I wish you were back in play for me to put sticky fingers back on you. Come back. Wait a minute. <laughs> no way. Come back. Please. This is my green mana. All right. All right. No big deal. No, no big deal. It's no big deal. We're going to Demon's do, and we're going to hit Grizzly Sigil and Involuntary whatevers, and we're going to kill this play right here. We're fine. I don't like that. No, we don't... <laughs> All right, that wasn't great. We can shuffle the good stuff back into our deck. That's good. Uh, not getting a Grizzly Sigil is really unfortunate. Oh, this is painful. Oh, this is so painful. This is so painful.
I'm gonna hope they can't don't have a way to kill our dragon. You're right on time, buddy. Need to draw Grizzly Sigil. Oh, they have the plus four, plus four. No! Oh, they don't have it. Oh, they have Strangle. No! I need to draw a Grizzly Sigil right now. Does that do anything? doesn't do anything. I guess we just gotta play our fellow and hope they don't have anything. The problem is... If they had a pump spell, we were dead because they would have killed us last turn, so. Oh, could we blitz Draxus and steal the Rego? We could. We could maybe do that. So they have to they have to sack the angelic overseer because they're dead on board, All right? So if I do, oh, I guess I can just take it. If I just take this fellow, then they're just 100% dead. Wait, what? Oh my fr I ran out of time. Unbelievable. Arena. This deck deserves better. I'm dead to 2 2.
This deck deserves better. What a catastrophe! Thanks for the Prime MTG Master. I can't believe that just happens. What a disaster. I try to do funny things, but... Yeah, the copy of the Drag Mangler does the thing. They were dead. Oh, hey, Memnite. Thanks for gifting five subs. Christian806, Ooh Plumber, Ionos, Zarumag, Center5050, 66. Thanks for the thanks for gifting five subs. I feel a bit better now. I can't believe we lost a game because of that. I appreciate it, Mem Knight. I'm feeling better now. It's like I won. I won in my heart, and that's and that's what really counts. I mean, I guess I can just pump up the island because, I mean, I, I, I can't play this turn three, but I'm not going to anyway, right? So. I won where it really counts. What did I do? I just ran out of time. Like, obviously it's my fault, but. Are you looking for a new job? You're a web developer? Okay. Are you, try, are you doing the humble brags here? Subtle humble brags? <laughs> you just don't care anymore. <laughs> and we didn't want to attack last turn. They got big plans. Ah, oh, yeah. Oh, why didn't I block that instead of the fixer? Look, don't, don't ask me these questions. I don't know the answers to them. Um, Do either one of these is fine. Let's do this one. Oh no, wait, did we just mana screw ourselves? No, we're good. Oh man, Wrecking Crew is here. No, that is that is all. That is just a pretty good draw. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's pretty good. I was on a team that lived for eight years and we got bought bro team was broken apart and they gave our F to a team in India. Okay. It's kind of similar when it comes to QA. People think like, you know, why would we, you know, pay decent money to, to have a software QA when I, we need to pay India like a dollar fifty an hour or something. And it's just like, well, it's one of those things where, so it takes a woman nine months nine months to produce a child, right? If a, if a woman is pregnant, it takes nine months to produce one child. Do you think nine women get get what one child in one month? Is that is do you think that's how that works? Was I <laughs> The math checks out. And it's kind of the same thing with QA. Where it's just like, when you have, like when it comes to coding, for, for some coding and for some QA, it's just like, you know, having a bunch of, having more people doesn't make necessarily a better product.
Magic the Gathering is illegal in at least seven states. One time I, I it's when I traveled to Barcelona. I traveled to Barcelona for a pro, for I think it was a pro tour there. And in the hotel lobby, you know, it was the hotel that was nearest to the site, right? Like the nearest cheapest one. And there's so a bunch of magic players at the tournament. Uh, from the tournament at this hotel. And we're all in the hotel lobby drafting. And then a a soldier with an with an assault rifle comes up and stops us. And and says, You can't do that here. And we're like, you know, we're just drafting. And we're like, can't do what? Where? Like you can't play cards in public. Like, you know, you know, we we had this tournament, we're doing thing, and it's just like, no, you can't do that here. And like, oh, okay, you know what? You know what, you have an assault rifle. Maybe there's language barrier going on. We're in Barcelona. All right. <laughs> so we were it is apparently illegal. It's illegal to like play cards in public, supposedly. Like uh it's some sort of anti gambling law. Yeah, yeah. And like, no, we're not gambling. We you know it's just no, it's just they weren't having anything of it. I'm trying to decide whether it's right to just do this. It's so much better if I if I actually get there, right? But I kinda just wanna draw I kinda just wanna draw land, so a creature or a land. Yeah. Oh, I don't have a forest in my deck. I forgot I don't have a forest in my deck. May have been an oversight in deck construction. <laughs> <laughs> Forgot I had a, a green fetch land. I it's all my I have all my duels are green. See, it doesn't matter. It wasn't an oversight. Am I getting hold for ransomed? No. We need to draw a creature or an act of treason. I feel like we actually lose if they hold for ransom or a card. <laughs> We need to draw Tenacious Underdog. Speakeasy server. Okay, that's not a hold for Ransom. A good sign. Is it time for a little chat? 
think it is. Will we find a non-land? We will. We are, we are successful. So now... Do we just cycle the sticky fingers? I guess we do. Nice. Feeling better now. Oh, I can, I can even use, I can even use the initiate. Now that, now we're pod racing. Wait, they're not even using it. They could have used the adjudicators. What's their big plan? We found what the big plan was. I guess is I guess eating their eating a creature is better than they get a four four back. Who cares, right? I guess I is technically one more damage if I do this, right? Three fewer treasures, but it's one more damage. I get three fewer treasures this way. Is three treasures worth one damage? I'm not sure. Because if I take in the untapped 3-3, three, three, I could have sacked the 3-3 three, three to deal with kill the 4-3, right? Oh, but then they would be dead this turn. So that's 10, they're dead. All right, 16. Four from Dust Mailer, five from sacking it. What is this madness? What? Okay, look. Look. All right. Bear with me for a moment. I want you to bear with me for a moment. Um, yeah, I lost the damage on the treasures. Yeah, I'm not going to put a forest in. A forest is for cowards. There's only two green cards in the deck. Forest is for cowards. Uh, I first picked Obscure Ascendancy in this draft, all right? I was trying to be an Obscure Ascendancy deck. And this is where we ended up being. It's not my fault. I first picked it. I'm like, all right, it's finally time. Let's play Obscure Ascendancy. I'm not gonna add a force. I've only got two green cards. I've got a ton of common play type green sources and I got a ton of treasures. I'm fine. We haven't even drawn Obscure Ascendancy. Can you believe that? Haven't even drawn it. Pathetic.
the exhibition magician keeping this whole hand together. Is it is it gonna be enough to defeat our percentage gamer? It's the newsy. All right, all right, all right. Get out of here, friendo. We don't serve your kind. More like old newsy. We're gonna draw an untapped land. Wow, the attack doesn't even want to stop us. Doesn't even want to try to stop us. Yeah, what's up with that? Coward. That's a lot of stuff in here. Let's get rid of... Uh... Let's get rid of this, I guess. I guess I should take away the six drop. I guess we can take this. I mean, they're all good. We can't really go wrong here. All three of them are good. Oh, Exile Graveyard? Oh, yeah, you're right. I forgot about that effect. Hmm. This could go well. So we take it. We activate it on our Corpse Appraiser and we find a sack effect. And then I guess it's technically better to do it. It's like technically better to do this now, right? Like they get to kill our tenacious underdog, but they don't kill our corpse appraiser, right? Oh, and we draw a card. Forgot about that.
Forgot we drew a card. So now we just like take their thing and then like ten ball them. A little bit of a ten ball. Were there doubters? Are there doubters in my chat right now? This is the best obscure ascendancy deck you've ever seen. <laughs> Look. Look, man. Look. I'm trying. I'm trying to cast Obscure Ascendancy. My opponents won't let me. I'm trying. It's not my fault. It's not my fault. Look. We even have a basic planes in our deck. I have a basic planes instead of a basic forest. Despite only having one white card. Because I want to play the Ascendancy. I'm trying so hard. All right. We just need a a blue mana, and this hand's amazing, right? So. Hey. We are set up to cast the Ascendancy. It's is it happening? Can't be happening. I refuse to believe it. I'm not trading three for one. Now when they have a life linker. So if you're not familiar, we can actually use the Matrix Ascendant we use Matrix Ascendancy to sack this, and then when we blitz it, we get another we get a two tube as it costs two mana. Hmm. We need a two drop. I guess we can go find one. Oh, this goes to the graveyard. Oh, it's even sicker. All right, all right. 
All right. You've made your point. You've made your point. Just settle down a little bit over there. You don't have to go that far. Look, friends. All right. You don't have to go that far. No one is forcing you. Now, is the deck coming... Did, is... Is it coming together for you? Is... Do you see the mastery? The blue-black-red ascendancy gives us all the mana values we need. And the Sticky Fingers brings it all together. And then we get the treasure. Let's let's just cast our Maester's uh, Charm, which, by the way, is a three mana card. And we get another two two. Now we have the four mana card. Okay. Goons is a five drop. <gasps> we found a four drop. deck is were there doubters this is an obscure i first picked obscure ascendancy it's an obscure ascendancy theme deck <laughs> see how easy the game is when we draw obscure ascendancy it's so easy that's why you first pick it Perfectly constructed deck. <laughs> oh. Oh no. Is this the end of the line? Is this the end of the line, chat? It might be the end of the line. Oh. 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 All 
All right. Okay. All right. All right. Look at her lips. Do a bit of lick lipping right there. All right, maybe we should have killed it. I don't know. We may have just punted. We may have punted. We may have not needed to take three damage. I thought they were placing something like something better, but oh, oh. Oh. That wasn't great, was it? We don't have a forest in our deck. We don't have a forest in our deck! We don't need the forest! The forest isn't part of the master plan! Get over it! Oh? The post-combat? Oh, I should have put the- I should have put the sticky fingers on this to draw a card. Oh. Well, that's not great. See, look, there's a green source right here. And right here. I got two green sources in my hand. Is this a citizen? Unbelievable. Oh? Do I want to do I want to keep sticky fingers or no? Do I want to just cycle it at this point? Probably just cycle it. Why not keep it? Because I can just cycle it right now. That's a lot of triggers. Yeah, we do have a lot of mana. It's like Dust Mangler time, right? <laughs> does, does, does Corpse Appraiser negotiate with terrorists? All right. Aya. 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 Is your Torah be nice? No, where are you going? <sighs> Unbelievable. I had to cycle, I had to cycle their sticky fingers because I needed to draw Grizz, I need to dra draw the obscure ascendancy. Yeah, ascendancy wins again. Man, so um, I wanted to play white spirit, th I, I, if I had any, if I had, um, my baseline for white, for white spirit thieving is eight. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So if I had one more, I'd play this. The Scarter is actually not that bad. Uh, 
It actually might have been, like, it's pretty close to being worth it in this deck. But Has this come up before? Yeah. I played this card before. That card's not bad. Oh, that one game, we actually lost the MTG Arena client. We literally had lethal on board and it passed our turn. Our opponent was at seven and we had Jaxus and a Dust Mangler. And I, went, I, was, I clicked on it to activate it and it passed it. It passed my turn. It passed my attack. And that was, that was one of our two losses. Because I had to tap my mana properly to get it to all work out. Because it was it would the, the, the auto tapper sabotaged me, so I had to manually tap all my dual lands. Because I need to triple red. And it was trying to leave open like green, white, and blue, black dual lands when I need to triple red to like active trees on their guy, uh blitz Jaxus, use Jaxus in my dust mangler, and then have a strangle. Uh no, I had uh I I played in the thing and I my deck was unplayable, unspeakably terrible and so i went 2-2 i thought i was gonna go 0-2 and i just two of the games i played backup agent turn two and then security bypass and i attacked seven times and they lost oh no oh no this is the end end of the line you can't mulligan this it's end of the line End of the line, chat. We've had a, we had a good run. We had a good run. Should have played Mountain there because I can get a Strangle. I can also get Tenacious Underdog, but... It's all Ogre. It's all ogre. Swamp. All right, maybe it's not all over. Never mind, I was just playing. It's not all over. I run the no attacks, no blocks. I'm a big fan. I'm just I was just playing, I was just playing, I was just playing. It's not all it's not all over. Enemy's gonna play a four mana five four. Well that's not great. I don't like to see that. I don't like to see that. We needed it. everything else is part of our six card combo. Maybe they'll just lose their mind. All right, let's just play this. Maybe they'll just lose their mind and kill it. Oh yeah, I think if they attack, I just block. All right. They didn't lose their mind, but they did kill it. Might have been better to just initiate there. I don't know. I don't like playing this. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of just like playing this. Um, 
when I don't have a creature in play. Cause it'll often just die to no effect. I want to get, I like, I want, I want the bone splinters and I want the, um, I want the bone splinters and I want the, the three treasures to cast my mangler the next turn. Like, it might have been safer to just do this, but that's only if I know they have no answers to this, right? I'll just play it safe, I guess. Let's just play it safe. I say I, I took the one power creature because it, uh, I gained three life that way. Oh, they don't have another court official. That would make me very sad. All right, that's fine. Thing for life is ambitious, but I think it's correct. I'm a little bit scary. If they if they have their own active treason, it's a little bit scary. It might have been right to just discard the goons to gain four life. Cause I don't I, like I'm on, I'm on playing this for two more turns, and I got two other plays. I should have just discarded this. I don't know. That was a bad play. I should have discarded this to gain four life. It's I already have these two. This doesn't do anything. Yeah. Yeah, that was bad. That was bad. Now I just died after treason. I just threw the game. They look like an active treason player, honestly. I got a four. Maybe they strangle this? They just started to strangle. Maybe they have another one. Just go for an untapped land here. Or a Maestro's Charm. Right on time. There was a chance we lose this game if they blocked the they blocked the mangler.
that was a close one because because of that girder goons play that was a close game we almost threw it we tried to throw this one in the bin oh we tried to throw this one in the bin obscure ascendancy game and hand win rate going up it was there it was there when it counted in 17 land statistics <laughs> And we, we punted our one loss, one of those losses. We just like lost to the client, timing us out. And it was our opponent was at was dead, and I just had to beat Jaxus and Dust Mangler. And the auto tapper sabotaged us, so we ran out of time. But yeah, no forest was correct. I stand by my decision. We had uh we had two red green lands and a white green land. And a bunch of treasure makers, so we didn't need it. We didn't need the forest. Pretty sweet. Yeah, we cast up Skira once and it easily won us the game. We made five two twos and they turned to five fives and our opponents conceded. Not even joking. Not actually joking. I first picked up Skira Ascendancy. I first picked this up Skira. I drafted my deck. Around Obscure Ascendancy, and here we are. You don't understand that the blue black red ascendancy is a combo with the white blue black ascendancy. Is it, you get spells, you flash back your spells that have the corresponding mana values for Obscure Ascendancy, and you just get to flash back your whole graveyard. We didn't even get to, we didn't even get to uh, do the combo of Riveteer's Charm and Maestress Ascendancy, which is a wombo combo. Because uh, Maestress Ascendancy is only your turn, and Riveteer's Charm, um, the third of the, the the ability that says exile the top three cards of your library until your next in step, you may play those cards. Um, with Mace, with this Ascendancy, you can actually flash it back on your in step. And you get to three cards your next turn. 